Today's challenge is inspired by one of the most valuable assets on the market right now, toilet paper. I'm making the newly famous toilet paper cake. All right, so to get started, I went ahead yesterday and baked off box cake mix in an eight inch round cake pan. So I have three eight inch cakes. There are several different versions of this cake out there. Um, the video I saw is a great tutorial on how to build this and it starts with three six inch layers, which I don't have a pan that small. So I started with box cake mix into eight inch cake pan. So I'm gonna see if I can trim these down a little bit. This looks about like the right size. Oh, I think that's too small. That's a little bigger. That worked out. Oh yeah, I'm feeling good already. Okay, so I've got my three layers. So you want it to be a tall toilet paper. Um, I saw another video where they kind of hollow out just the top one so that it looks like the hole in the center of the toilet paper roll. So I guess I'm gonna do that too. The tequila top will work. It's not quite in the center. All right, does that look like the top of a toilet paper roll? All right, so I've got a cake plate. I guess I'm going to arrange it on here. I don't have any wax paper, but I'll just tear some parchment. I'm gonna set my cake down. And then we're just gonna ice it like normal, I think, with store-bought icing. Okay, so we're gonna cover the cake with fondant. So you just have to do like a good crumb layer, they say. If I had all day, I could probably enjoy something like this, but who has all day to do something like this? Also don't like cakes that really have fondant on them. I don't like to eat that. It's just never appealed to me. Okay, here's a closer look at how I'm already screwing it up. I'm gonna get my top layer with the hole in it, put it on top. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna pull out the big daddy. This is why homemade cake would be easier because it's not so crumbly as box cake. Oh no, this is not working. Don't worry, I'll fix it. It's just gonna take a lot of icing. This cake does look pretty sh already. Hey Google, are you supposed to start icing a cake from the bottom or the top? On the website thepioneerwoman.com, they say, the bottom of the cake is now the top of the cake because it's the smoothest part and it will make frosting the top much easier. Do you frost a cake from the bottom or the top? On the website thepioneerwoman.com, uh, they say, Hey Google, it's the bottom. do you ice the sides of the cake before the top? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Okay. Here are other things you can try. The, look, here's the problem. It's because I cut the cake and made it smaller. So it doesn't have smooth sides. It's going to happen, y'all. Okay, so I've just got a really thick layer of icing. Now, I've seen some people do this before. I feel like you're supposed to chill this before you put fondant on it. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm getting nervous and I'm going to go refrigerate this cake. If I can find room in my freezer, I'd freeze it. Wish me luck. Okay, so while my cake firms up a little bit, I hope, um, I'm going to roll out the fondant. So this is what's going to make our cake look like toilet paper. This is hard as a brick. Okay, to soften, microwave 10 seconds per pound. Oh man, this is going to be hard. So we need two sheets. The first one is going to coat the top of the cake and then we need a big sheet to wrap around the outside. I taste it. I don't know why people like fondant. So my plan for this cake is to bring it to my sweet babysitter who is not getting to finish out the year with us or finish out her school year. This is her senior year and she's just the best. It's better that this is too big so that you can trim off the excess. 
My daughter has this kind of roller, and I saw this in the video, so I'll try it. Oh, maybe I'll just stretch it out with my hand. Well, I probably shouldn't have put any finger indentions in there. Okay, the top is going to be done. Okay, now for the side. Okay, so when we roll this big sheet out, it's got to wrap around the whole cake, and we have to measure it to make sure it's exactly the same height as the cake, so it'll be a perfect way around. All right, so we have to measure the top to bottom of the cake, which is almost five and a half inches. So I need this to be five and a half inches. Oh, I have plenty of room. Oh, good. I hope it's big enough to wrap around. I feel like it is. All right, this is gonna go over the top. No going back now. Let's do the sheet along the outside. There's no stopping now. Hold on. I gotta make one straight edge so it looks like the end of the toilet paper. And you kind of like fold it over. Oh no, I don't have enough. It's almost enough. Okay, guys, is it looking like toilet paper? Look at my little fold over. Obviously, I have some things I need to fix, but we're on the right track. Okay, I'm just going to try to do some patching. Don't mind me. Okay, so I just remembered. So you're supposed to section it off, like score it with a knife so it looks like the squares, the toilet paper squares. And then, you know how toilet paper sometimes has a print, like butterflies and flowers? I was supposed to do all that before, but I'm going to try to do it now that it's on here. That's definitely not going to be the front. That'll be the front. Now I'm going to do the hole in the top. I think I'll use my old Tito's cap for the top. Okay, there's a hole in there. But I do have to fill it with something to make it look like the inside of a toilet paper roll. Hey Google, how do you color fondant? Alright, playing how to color fondant, Wilton on YouTube. Oh great. Well, I don't have brown, but I do have cinnamon. This might work. I do have to use a lot more. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me fix it up and I'll let you see. Okay, now, one final thing, because it's all in the details, is you have to go around the top and make little lines like it's the toilet paper's rolled up. So here we go. Again, if I had all day, I'd probably try to make this look prettier. Mine maybe looks just a little more like my toilet paper fell in the toilet and then I got it out because it's just a little soggy. But I'm pretty happy with my toilet paper cake. Let's compare it to a roll of toilet paper, shall we? Bada boom, they're like twins. Pretty sure I sort of nailed this one. Um, I mean, I might have a few boo-boos on there, but I mean, you can't argue that it doesn't look like a roll of toilet paper. I mean, nothing surprises me anymore. If I'm making cakes look like toilet paper, there's no telling what I'll do next. If you have any other great ideas inspired by COVID-19 or anything else, send them my way. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to click that bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, we're heading to make our special delivery graduation cake.